And that's why Jonah paid me the big bucks. Right over here. Until Miles gets back, the best thing we can do is keep everyone fed. Oh, Peter, it is so good to see you. How are you? Healthy? I'm good. How are you holding up, May? Good, but busy. Oh, let me go. <coughs> oh. oh, there. <coughs> I'm okay. Didn't you tell me something once about accepting that I'm human just like everyone else? You and Beth. <coughs> Masters at turning my own words against me. I am fine, Peter. Just a little rundown. Where's Miles? Could he help out? No, oh, he is. He's off picking up medical supplies from the relief center. It's amazing how quickly we go through antibiotics. Okay. You stay off your feet for a bit. I'll organize the unloading and check in with Miles. Deal? Deal. Give me a chance to nurse my wounded Parker pride. Come on, Miles, answer. Don't make me worry about you and me. bulldozer went through here. I can't turn back. Beast needs those antibiotics. You hear the sound his head made when the guy hit him? Like a bug on a windshield. All because he made one stupid crack about the guy's suit. Freaking intense. It's cold. Dude's got issues, man. Big ones. I heard that. Got a few seconds. Should be able to hug that wall. <clears throat> Medical containers in that tent. Maybe this will be easy. Both of them are. Glad they're on our side. You two, get over here. All right, all right, all right. I heard that. Gaz, I ain't dying. No antibiotics. I need to keep looking. Supplies over there. Need to get past these guys. I don't have that. Believe me, I hate watching Benson wail. Turns my stomach. Just give us the info to be stuck. Don't have clearance for that. Um, that's not what Benson is. That? Stupid tin man! Patrolling sector. We'll advise status. Why are the super dudes so set on taking out these relief centers? Something about Osborne. They want to show how weak he is. Can't protect the city. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of drama. As long as they let us keep all the supplies we find, I don't care. Yeah, man. This Another supply tent. Fortune on the black market. No trauma kits. No antibiotics. Gotta be somewhere. Could use a cough. Gotta avoid that sniper.
Dude, please don't embarrass me. Don't kill me, please. More supplies. Oh, come on, Crate. Be the one. Perfect. This is a very large man. I found the exploding bulldozer. Supply loops and schedules. Now! Yes, Kazal! Gentlemen, I apologize. My associate is. Inelegant. He doesn't understand the fine art of persuasion. Stop! <laughs> Did not need to see that. I don't think he saw me. Time to get out of here. Near the opening. So let me know I have these. Get off me! Just give us the wallet! Give it us, man! Help! Hey, leave him alone! Be 
Big mistake, kid. You can't just push people around like that. Or what? Like this? Haha. <laughs> Kids right. got guts. Hip squared. What the hell's he saying? Not gonna be saying anything in a second. <laughs> oh! Whoa. You want a taste? Nah, I'm good, kid. You want a taste? I gotta work on my fight banner. trying to reach you. You okay? Hey, so, uh, don't freak out, but, um, I gotta fill you in on some stuff. Incredible work, Miles. Stick close to Feast. If the convicts get desperate, they may try to raid the shelter. Way ahead of you. Anything else happens here, I'll let you know. Great. Thanks, Miles. Yuri, figured out Rhino's deal. He's attacking Oscorp's relief centers. Think I know which one he's hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and or demolition derby at the Harlem Center. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired, but hanging in there. We'll get through this. Keep the faith. find it suspicious that this rhino person always knocks down buildings and tears up roads which someone ends up making money rebuilding? Am I suggesting a conspiracy? You're damn right! Now, if you've seen the man testify in court, you know the rhino is too stupid to plan anything himself. So who's the mastermind? Well, who else is always there? Supposedly fighting Rhino, but actually leading him around like a red cape does a bull. Say it with me! Spider-Man! Someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, Poke. Or maybe we could just talk it out. Rhino, what's with the team up? I thought you were a loner. Beast and eggs, Poke. All of life is beast and eggs. Yeah. So what's the end for these particular means? Freedom! True freedom! 
No more you. No more Dino. Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's easy to cut in, right? What were you going to do if I didn't show up? Beg him to give up? Yes, Garkin, that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two! How did you not see that coming? Why? Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's worth to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't show you? Beg him to give up? Yes, that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two! Octavius will do if he finds out you failed! I failed? Yes, you, freak show! A little force together time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. federal databases. If this Devil's Breath Lab does exist, it's off the books. 
The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables men. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. My friends, the Rhino and the Scorpion are back behind bars. But only after wreaking unimaginable havoc in a reckless rampage with Spider-Man. Hopefully, they'll never see daylight again. But we need to be ready if they do. Normal humans can't stand against the likes of the Rhino. So, here's my proposal. You've heard of police dogs, right? Now bear with me. We train, outfit, and deploy police rhinoceroses. You got a rhino? We got a rhino too, baby! Okay, MJ. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. He'll never survive this. Next election, he'll get destroyed. Maybe. I've seen Osborne survive worse. He is a cockroach. An arrogant cockroach. Yeah, that elevator goes straight to his penthouse. Pretty sure he's up there right now. There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Off limits, ma'am. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. A health emergency might do it. Really? Come on. Let's go talk to security. Hey, let us back upstairs. I've got a medical emergency here. Oh man, I can't breathe. Let me back upstairs. Oh, every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. That should do it. Crap. Jerry, get out of here. We got a situation. Get out here right now. Security Just room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating, but please remember, Sable is doing this for your... Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love Charger to meet you. you. We're in charge. Okay, okay, I'm gone. I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator.
That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Continuing sweep. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm. Stupid useless button. Hmm. Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commencing. Please remain calm. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. Work order for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. What is this thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Whoa. This mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. The Fabulous Osborne Boys. Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so drunk secret keypad behind the family portrait? Norman must like spy movies. Self-diagnostic complete. No faults found. Fire doors disengaged. <sighs> Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. This room smells like... rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. <sighs> Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms and a motto. Pax in Bello, peace in war. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. City's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. 
Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway. Listen, I know I don't say this enough, but... Thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. A photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there. Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Harry's room. But it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy, at least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Norman and Otto, wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board. And he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman? Can't be for Harry, can it? Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney. Like his mom. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room.
I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum's ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the Labitat now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Okay, July 18. Bingo. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage? What the hell is he trying to create? Harry and Emily's medical records. GR-27 was developed to treat them. Devil's Breath is a failed cure for Norman's own family. Born, GR-27 research log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Sable troop deployments. <sighs> They're stationed all over- Bravo, bravo, bravo. And this must be the C-team. 
Good ol' Alpha Team. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no idea they owned so much of New York. Commercial buildings... Wow. So many records facilities. Oscorp's going all in on defense research. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath Lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. No movement from Dr. Van Adder. Must be out of the city. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. No, Norman's not crazy enough to keep the anti serum in his shopping. A records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath Lab. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big sable presence. Should check the patrol routes against Oscorp buildings. Good ol' Alpha Team. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big sable presence. Should check the patrol routes against Oscorp buildings. No. Dr. Michaels was near a lot of sable forces, but it's not an Oscorp facility. Bet I'm looking for a heavily guarded Oscorp building that Dr. Michaels visits. Nice. Got some overlap with Dr. Michaels' path. Oscorp building, but no Michaels or Sable. That's not it. Dr. Michaels went to this Oscorp building, but there's no security detail. This can't good ol' Alpha Team. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big Sable presence. GR-27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it! Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR-27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it. We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Hey, who's 
Need to clear that balcony. Hey, <gasps> boss, we got her. No. Pete, you here? Turn it off, Lex. Now, are you okay? We'll be in a few seconds. Northwest corner. You're amazing. It's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You, you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks, partner.